Pull-ups are one of the most difficult and at the same time effective exercises for the upper body. It is great for shaping and straightening the upper body. In this video, I'll tell you how to learn pull-ups, what muscles do pull-ups work, and what will happen if you pull-up every day. So watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Let's go! Pull-ups are great for straightening the muscles in your arms and shoulders. Regularly performing pull-ups, you can qualitatively work out the forearms and the shoulders. Pull-ups effectively develop upper body strength and help improve grip strength. This is very important when doing weight lifting exercises. A strong grip is also important in other sports, such as rock climbing. Pull-ups are an important part of strength training, which when properly planned and performed, develops muscles and maintains healthy bones and the cardiovascular system. What muscles do pull-ups work? The pull-up is a functional exercise that engages a large group of muscles in the upper body. The latissimus is the largest muscle in the upper back, and its function is to bring the shoulder to the body and pull the arms back, and also rotate them inward. The next muscles are trapezius. The task of these muscles is to move the shoulder blade and support the arm. The erector spiny muscle is divided into three muscles that run along the thoracic spine. The infraspinatus muscle helps with extension of the shoulder and it is located on the shoulder blade. Also during pull-ups, indirectly or depending on the grip and form of the exercise, the triceps, deltoid muscle, teres major muscle, brachioradial muscle, biceps and major pectoral skin work. How to do pull-ups correctly Before starting the exercise, it's necessary to thoroughly stretch the muscles of the upper body as well as all tendons and joints. Grasp the bar with the classic overhand grip and hang from the bar with your arms fully extended and about shoulder width apart. Raise your chin to the bar by bending your arms. Ideally, you need to touch the crossbar with the upper part of the chest. Keep this position for 1 to 1 and a half seconds and slowly lower the body down, controlling it. The body shouldn't twitch, squirm and help or interfere with the exercise. Advices for beginners Pull-up movements should be slow and always controlled. Keep your body tense throughout the exercise. Minimize kinking and rocking your torso. Don't start the next rep until your arms are fully extended. With the right approach, each person can prepare their body for pull-ups. Before starting any workout, make sure that you have no health limitations or certain hidden injuries that can only harm you when doing pull-ups. If you are a beginner in pull-ups, you can work on the very basics to prepare for a full pull-up. For example, try just hanging on the bar for a certain time, starting from 10 seconds. Gradually increase the time so you can straighten the muscles in the arms and back, which are needed to perform the classic pull-up. If you are working out in a gym, find an assisted pull-up machine or use assistive equipment. A great way to prepare for basic pull-ups is to use a sports or gymnastic elastic band. This will pull the body up with less load. Also, classic pull-ups can be replaced with pull-ups on a low bar, with legs resting on a horizontal surface. During this, in addition to the back muscles, the biceps, delts, forearm muscles and psoas muscle are also loaded. When you get the hang of doing different variations of pull-ups, you will be able to experience the various physical benefits of a strong upper body. The muscles developed during pull-ups will help you gain confidence when performing other difficult weight exercises. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. Links are on the screen right now. See you soon!